the genomic assay Oncotype DX uh, is uh, the GPS score, the genomic prostate score, uh, has been validated by a number of institutions and is part of the NCCN guidelines now to help uh, physicians and patients stratify as to who or who should not uh, be uh, on active surveillance program. The way that it was developed was to look at a number of different uh, genes that are expressed in the prostate, 21 genes. Some of these genes are uh, regulated by hormones. Some of them are proliferating genes. The nice thing about this assay, it goes through a number of different genes, a number of different categories of genes. And within each category, there are two or three or four genes within that category. The, the idea behind this, which is rather amazing, is that rather than looking under the microscope and seeing the cellular architecture and, and describing what's classically been used for many years now is the Gleason grading system. It gives us a, an added feature, an additional layer by looking and isolating just the cancer cells and extracting uh, the, the DNA and then doing what's called an RT-PCR, reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, to look at the expression of specific genes that are turned on in these cells. And you can come up with a new score, a genomic prostate score, that can give us individualized specific expression within those cancer cells to determine whether or not they are more aggressive or less aggressive than what we have thought by looking at the classic Gleason grade under the microscope. So it, it, it appears, and this is not only true for prostate, it's probably true for breast and colon as well, that not all of these cancers that we think um, are the same category act the same way. 